Hey everybody, it's me, Marina Martinez Bateman. My hair is a little wild, that's okay. I am the CEO of New Coyote Consulting. We are an equity and communications firm here in the Pacific Northwest. Every Monday I tell you my intention for the week and then every Thursday I come back and I tell you how I did on that intention. This week my intention was to take care of my body, which I did very well. And then I sort of added a little extra layer of like extending myself a lot of grace and understanding that um, my best is absolutely good enough good <laughs> my best is good enough it is my best is good enough and so that is something that I did this week I also added something midweek so that's yesterday morning that during these slow times when we're not getting a lot of paid work what I should do is come to work with a list of what I'm gonna do to generate income for us and then when that list is done I leave. I'm done for the day. Uh, sitting around and fretting over where the money is going to come from does no one any favors. It does not create anything for us. It doesn't make anybody else feel good or better. It doesn't make me feel better. It makes me feel worse. And it kind of shoots me in the foot because when money does come in, I'm already tired from all the worrying about when the money was going to come in. It's just this really bad habit that I have about worrying about the future when I've clearly done enough to, to you know, either it's going to work out or it was never going to work out anyway because to do more would have been too much for me and I would have burnt out. So being kind to myself and just letting myself feel that and be like, I've done enough. I'm going back home. I'm going to, you know, this is going to be a short day because we don't have any work. And I did everything I could to find work. The end. Done. We're, we're going inside. So um, that's actually been panning out for me. I feel like I have a lot more energy. I think I've said it on other videos. But one of our advantages here at New Coyote is that we're well-rested people. Like, one of the advantages of working with me is that um, I haven't been gnawing on this problem for months or years. I'm not hampered by a lot of other sort of like things going on that people internally experience at their companies. Um, you know, we take lunches, we take breakfast sets, gives us, you know, sort of like big open space for brain work. Like, there's just such an advantage to being well rested and well cared for um, that can't be replicated when you're not. And, and that is one of the things we give to our clients. So if I'm worrying myself to death, I'm taking away one of our advantages as a company. So it's just a very good idea to take good care of yourself. And I've experienced that this week. And also I experienced that last week. And it just, things are working out for us like they always do. Um, and I'm grateful that I was able to pivot during this period of scarcity. I am, I'm sad. I'm feeling the loss of all those days and hours before I was able to pivot on this understanding that like, it is okay to rest in the middle of a bad time. It's just okay. And so I kind of spent a lot of time unnecessarily like beating myself up and feeling bad for myself and feeling depressed. Um, I say unnecessarily, but I'm hoping that it was necessary to remind me to not do that again. And I hope it, I'm hoping that it was necessary so that next time I feel like I'm going in that direction, I can remind myself that um, it doesn't serve me and sort of turn it around. Because the truth is that when your business slows down, if you do something that's in demand, which we do, if you're pretty good at it, which we are, we're very good at it. If you have a good energy and people like working with you, slow times never last. They don't. Um, even if those aren't really what's going on with you, slow times almost never last. It is okay to rest during a slow time on the knowledge that things will pick back up again because they do pick back up again. They always pick back up again. Um, which people told me when I was younger in business and I was like, you don't know that, <laughs> but they were speaking from experience. How else would they know that? So I really hope that the next time it's slow and the next time I'm worried, I can practice this faster 
and not um, get so stuck in depression and worry and fear. Um, that was a that was a lot of time I spent doing that, and I think that I needed it, you know. Um, this time around. I hope I don't need it next time around. So everybody remember to have a weekend. Put your, what did, how did you do your intentions? Put it down below. I am clearly a little bit tired uh, because I'm like stuttering my words. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna relax, uh, have a weekend. Nobody can tell you to have a weekend, but please, please, please. Uh, no one can make you have a weekend, I mean, but I'm telling you to have a weekend. Please have a weekend. Bye, everyone.